The recount of the 2012 general election is officially over. What started out as five precincts with discrepancies being recounted on Friday turned into a grueling weekend of hand counting. Precincts 4, 6, 13A, 18C, and 18G started off the recount on Tabulator Francisco. Then GEC selected Precinct 4 in Ayat and randomly picked Precinct 13A in Aganya Heights to hand count with representatives from the Democratic and Republican parties. They also randomly machine recounted precincts 14A and 16 to compare it with the unofficial results. GEC Executive Director Maria Pangolian says they also hand counted the vice mayoral race in Agate's precincts 4A and 4B and the Asin Maina mayoral race in precinct 2 because the numbers were close. She also says the 148 missing nonpartisan ballots from Asin Maina were located in their supply area and counted as well. All the hand counts validated the machine tabulation. Also yesterday, um, there were um, some nonpartisan um, ballots that were put in a supply box by the precinct officials of Asa Maina. So those were taken yesterday and were machine tabulated. So those are now together with the other ballots. Pangolina noted differences in Senator Adolfo Palacios' votes in Agate's precinct which resulted in him gaining 264 more votes. However, whatever changes were noted, it was not enough to change the overall results of the general election. The election results do not change. Um, the, the congressional delegate, the 15 senators, um, the straw poll for the president, the mayors and the vice mayors, and um, everything else, it remains the same. While the recount is done, there's still more that needs to be done. The GEC board is planning on reconvening Thursday at 5.29 p.m. to go over administrative complaints, which Pangolinan says are being handled by legal counsel Jeff Cook. The legal counsel is having the administrative complaints at this time. Um, he is preparing his, uh, his report, and we should have it by this week before the Thursday meeting. Meanwhile, GEC staff will begin collecting the voting booths tomorrow. And what about the tabulation machines? Pangolinan says they will begin looking after all the problems that occurred with this election, but at this point, they don't have the budget to buy precinct counters or other machines at this time. We'll look and see what's available out there. And I think the most important is whatever is available out there, what we want to do is what's the best fit for Guam with our humidity, the population, the voter population, what we anticipate it to be 10 years from now. That's, you know, that's what the, um, we need to do that. GEC is expected to certify the unofficial general election results next week Monday. Josh Tikenko, PNC News.